Basically, Christians normally use the scripture here for back them points that God is for everyone and God are going to save everybody, but which is not so, right? Because that that too is just a blatant stupidness when I see how that makes sense because, as you may, you have people out there who are completely different from each other, who have different beliefs, you know? And we don't see, we don't see how it would afford to see everybody because... We have different. We separated basically. Everybody don't have the same beliefs. Everybody call him by different names, right? So, how can he come to save everyone when everyone doesn't know him? Um, secondly, too. Um, the 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 if you understand the Bible, you translate it from um Hebrew to Latin Greek. To Spanish and then to English, and you know, you know, when you get translated, um, the, the words, um, missed, missed up, yeah, 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 yeah missed up words, you know, you know, they know all in true meaning because, right, you said the word world, um, doesn't hold it to me, and, and basically, you might think about, um, all that you see, people, land. Buildings, everything of the world, but that, that's not way you speak about the word. Well, you also speak about um, a certain set of people because go back to the Greek word cosmos, which means an harmonious arrangement. Get that for me. Say an apt or harmonious arrangement or constitution or order or government. So basically, I just want orderly arrangement. And basically, right? And who did the Almighty make an arrangement with? Surely not everyone in the world, right? So, um, because it's even this, the scripture tell us it was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, not the whole world, right? So this harmonious arrangement is um speaking about the Israelites, which one third of the nation are get saved and two third are perish. So um, it's Hebrews one and two. So this is Hebrews. One verse, one verse two. Had in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he had appointed here of all things, by whom also he made the world. So, and that is a world here with an S at the end. For sure, so, say, um, so, so, um, there's more than one world. God. So, the, 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 the word world being plural, meaning they have more than one of them. So, which one of them um, it has speak about in John 3 and 16? The main question. Well, I stated cosmos, which means an after harmonious arrangement. Right? So, right? But, do you remember that the scripture say the Almighty is not an art of confusion, right? So, more than once, one Christian explain this to me. 
right? He say he adult. This a James four and four. He adulterers and adulteresses. No, he not that the friendship of this world is is enmity with Yahweh. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of Yahweh. So right in and there, the Almighty assures you pick a side. Yes, because you must say, oh, I can't be a friend of the world and be a friend of him. Can. Because that's that wrong. Because if you know the world, it's um, the world is giving you kind of the wicked. Basically. So, wickedness, um. Basically, I uh, uh, inherit the earth at yes. this present moment. Wicked, wicked they can mass production now. <laughs> if you understand, because people um, are a bit covetous over their own self, um, adulterous. Yeah. Loss. Loss. Yeah. Like kill, kill each other. Murder each other. All, all of them some there are, are walks in peace in the end. God. And we can see that a few because murder they put a high. Crime they put a high. Um, people out here are taking certain drugs and then some of them hey. then just a kill up. Hey, no way way. I'll go back to pride. God. Being proud against the most high, right? right? It says. Scripture so, refer to Yes as a proud man. The scripture says, oh, ye adulterers and adulteresses, no, ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh. And if you look in our word enmity, just right. See? No, we go down. Hostile, basically. Hostility, right? By implication and reason of opposition. Can, which can. means hatred, right? So. So basically, it is a um if if um the of the world you basically eat the most high. Can. Right. Con continuing with with scriptures for back. So this this is um. Yahweh Shai, correct name for the son of the Most High, if you really want to call Jesus or whatever. This is what he must say, he said, I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are dying. So, right here, he must say, you know, pray for, for the whole world. Okay. So, that, that's, that's going in contradictory to which St. John 3 and 16 and say, oh, for God so love the world. So. Wait, wait, that's all right here, so I pray not. We must say right here, so I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which do has given me. So which people, or which harmonious arrangement, set of people, um, the most I give him? Who, who is his inheritance? That which, which, which is going back to Abraham, which he made the, the first covenant, covenant with, right? And, and Abraham's seed, if you know, um, Jacob, um, the grandson of Abraham. Let me see, 17. Continue to talk. Mm -hmm. Jacob, the grandson of Abraham, the, the Mosai, um, changed his name to Israel. And he say, um, the children of Israel are the few people. If you understand, if you are following me. So, the harmonious arrangement are the peace, the set of people the Mosai pray for is the Israelites. And if you, you, you go even further than that, so it's a series set of the Israelites in my prayer for. An elect. The elect. Basically, you must pray for the elect. Um, God. This uh, is um, Isaiah 45 and 4. Says, says for four. Jacob, thy servant, say, and Israel, thine elect. I have called thee, thy by name, I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. So, right here it shows you the most set of people um, are the Israelites. Because Jacob name, Jacob is servant, name changed to Israel. And um, a certain few are the Israelites, named the one third, are uh, his elect. Understand. Oh, you know, right? exactly. Right? Revelation yeah. speak about it. Right? Yeah. We have a lot of scriptures that direct direct um salvation 
for Israel, right? Which, which just proved that the, the Almighty um, is not for everyone, right? Um, can I get Jeremiah 3 and 23? This is the scripture say, um, Jeremiah 3 and 23. Truly, in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and the multitudes of mountains, which I go back to people. Yes, yes we call yes, it. Um, the scripture uses hills and more mountains. We use we uh, describe governments. Can't. So it's like a people. Truly, in the Lord, our God is salvation for Israel. Again, the next scripture bringing out that salvation is only for Israel, right? Can't. And there is no part in the Bible that states that salvation is for no other nation than Israel. And um, I think to um, Christians of the say how this are Old Testament and Old Testament do not agree with and there is something about if you, if you check, check levels, you can throw away the root and expect the tree to still live. Can. And Old Testament are the root for the New Testament because even though. Um, when Yahweh shall be over the earth, um, in quote scriptures from the Old Testament, to back in point against the Pharisees and against certain people. Can. So, um, it said, truly in vain is salvation how far from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. So, if, if you open your government and so on, then salvation vain. And this is, he must refer to the people of Israel, he must speak unto them. And he said, in the Lord, truly in the Lord, our power is the salvation of Israel. So, the only nation or set of people on earth who will receive salvation of the Most High and who really need salvation of the Most High is the Israelites, His people. And This is just a scripture to back where the act did I say when you say oh, you have an appointed amount or a set that he, within Israel that is going to be saved at first. In fact, mm. in truth, all Israel will come back, right, in the right mind within the kingdom. But this is just a scripture to back where the act said. It says Romans 11 and 7. Mm. It says, What then Israel had not obtained that which he seek for, seek it for? But the election had to obtain it, and the rest were blinded. Which is this truth the scripture speak about, right? And that uh, that that basically are the way towards the salvation. kingdom and salvation, right? Learning this truth, waking up to this truth. For that, yes, me was a tower that you are about Shem Yashai, right? But that that are the way to the kingdom, knowing the the ways. In the laws and the statutes of the Almighty, right? And and trying to walk in them because in fact they need you to wear off of the flesh so we can do things mm. perfect in other and, life. And and I'm having faith in his promise too. Which he, which his promise go back to who? The people who promised them Abraham, Isaac and Jacob God. who who them people they, the children of Israel. God. Again, can just to just to um um stop from the point. Basically um okay one one last scripture and this 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 um scripture is in the new testament so i want to know what you christians have to say about that God. One last this is up to one twenty one And it says, and, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And what's the name of the Lord? It's Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Um, it's not Jesus, it's not God, it's not Yahweh, it's not Yahshua. Yahshua. It's, it's not it's, Jehovah. It's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And we say Yahweh through the name, in the name of Yahweh Shai. Right, which is and the Father in the name of the, the Son. 
can he says and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved ye men of Israel not of the world not of the world not of no other nation but ye men of Israel God. hear these words Yahweh shall have Nazareth a man approve of Yahweh among you by miracles and wonders and signs which Yahweh did by him in the midst of you as ye yourself also know so just just about to about to the point this is in the new testament this acts 2 and 21 you can get the scripture for yourself king james um version which is which one of the correct most correct version to use it basically say it right there sir no other nation but israel are receive salvation God. but israel are going to receive salvation and may i go test you know if you can find any other scripture where she will see a next nation that receives salvation otherwise from Israel, you do not do that. Well, then that would have proved that the men of James, the great men, stone are false prophet then. And highly unlikely to think that. Right? So, right, if, if, if nobody else can, if you can show we no other way towards this, you know, um, no other way for go around this, well, and um, that now got because we we have the truth, one hundred percent truth. You know the scriptures, and you don't. You you um get taught plantation Christianity, <laughs> which is which is bullshit basically. Can. So um. With that, one second, alal Yahweh ba Shem Yahweh Shai ba Shem Rakakodash. Double and us to the apostles and elders of James Greatman Stone. In salutation to all the Akims out there pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Continue pushing. Soon out of here. Shalom. Shalom.